It's 98 degrees today. I've had four hours of sleep. I haven't taken a shower in almost a week. And I feel like absolute garbage. So, I make no guarantees at all that today is gonna do anything but suck. And if I'm a little bit grouchy, well, now you know why. But, let us be of good cheer and do our best to dig through people's trash and find some goodies. I'm not sure I would normally take something like this, but you know. It is, as I like to say, mildly whimsical. And it's 98 degrees, so we're not gonna be too fussy tonight. Welcome to trash picking. If this clip abruptly ends, it's because there's address labels. So just be forewarned. All right, let's see. Some pea stew. Delicious. We like pea stew. I have so many of those at my house. What's this thing? Um, eh. I don't think we need that. Power cord. I used to always take the pieces out of the Monopoly games. I don't know why. All right, boxes, don't need that. Is this gross? You know what I use this stuff for? If I think I've touched poison ivy, then I'll dump this on a paper towel and rub my arms and legs and hands down. Yeah, it's cheap enough. I don't think I need their grimy old bottle. Let's see. Some artwork. That's pretty. It's got a little birdie on there. I can't really tell you how effective the uh, Ooh, look at this, another one. That one's got butterflies fluttering by. I can't tell you how effective the rubbing alcohol trick is because if it is effective, then you don't get the, the poison ivy, you know? So you can't really say, oh, I would have gotten it because you wouldn't know. But, uh, I haven't gotten it in a long time, so I guess it's effective. Let's see. There's your controller. That's like the uh, the fork that you use to eat your pea stew. There's your little plug. Pluggy Pluggerson. Might end up being able to do some gaming tonight. That's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Sounds like it has the disc in it.
Look at that. Look how sweet they were. They peeled the label off for us. All right, some old books. Look at that. It's a hat from which you can have chips and salsa if you so choose. That little thing is a worthless knickknack. I wonder if these things are metal. I mean, they're metal. Maybe we could sell them though. Scrap them. What was the price tag on these? Thirty-four ninety-nine. Jesus. I was gonna go to Kohl's and buy some shoes. But uh, now that I see their prices, I'm not sure I can afford it. Wow, this is like one of those annoying jigsaw puzzles. All right, I've never seen these before. This is some neat looking, kind of almost wrought iron looking candle holders. And this thing's pretty wild. It's kind of stuck on this hook down here though. Jesus lady. Everything's stuck on a hook. Yeah, that's weird. Check that out. It'd be like a nice little goth touch for your goth mansion so you can have your Wicca parties or whatever. All right, macrame. Nobody buys macrame. These things are neat. Little wall hangings. Flowers, flowers, and more flowers. Two bucks each, three for five. Oh, pumpkin stuff. I don't think we need that. That's broken. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we really want those. All right. This looks about as neat as it was when I got here, right? Wow, that was a lot of fun. I thought it was just gonna be one address label after another, but I was so wrong. I should have brought a thermometer. So we could check and see how hot all this stuff is out here in the sunshine. All right, bed frames. We don't really mess with those. Although they are useful. A lot of guys use them for projects. Oh, I'm tired. I need to take a nap. Wow, why did I do that? It's actually a pretty good shot too. All right, what do we got here? Six point Craftsman, 17 mil. All right, I'll accept that. There's a gift from the uh, the roadside tool givers. Rotors. Yeah, this town's like a 
kind of a combination between sort of middle class and working class, so. There's a lot of big executive houses, but there's also a lot of people that still fix their own cars and whatnot. All right, I guess we'll leave. Oh, geez, look at that. Don't want to leave that behind. Leave no craftsman ratchet behind. Wow. Does that still work? Yeah, it needs a little lube. Look at that. It's like... I just got that for free. 17 mil. Maybe I should do that. Just keep one ratchet with each socket size. So I never have to change sockets. I could just grab the ratchet with the 15, the ratchet with the 13. I mean, I find enough of these, right? Must have like, probably at least 20 or 30 different ratchets at my house. That might be the way to go. Preloaded ratchets. Craftsmen don't steal my idea. Look at these deluxe Duluth trading shorts. They're made of heavy denim. It's really great in this 98 degree weather. And they're too tight. I would recommend these shorts if you can get them on sale or on eBay or something. They're probably $200 in the store. Duluth trading is totally overpriced. If you can get them cheap, sure. Just don't wear them when it's hot outside. day like today I wish I was wearing swim trunks I also wish I was at the ocean like Virginia Beach or something but I'm not I see some electronical componentry on this street I anticipate that it's not gonna be good nah Nah. So let's just strip all the wires off of it. Jeez. Not making it easy. That's what we got. Look, it's a whole family of wild turkeys. Oh, there's one I almost ran over. Sorry, buddy. It is hours later. We are finding nothing today. Not super surprising, and in fact, the few people who have put stuff out Gotta give them credit. Doing it on such a hot day. Hmm. Well, wow, this camera isn't so great after dusk.
Cyclops. I did get a bunch of scrap metal before, and the lady was really nice, but I didn't want to tape record her on videotape. God damn. Probably should have, though. It would have been the only interesting footage we got tonight. Wow, why is that so stubborn? Usually aluminum doesn't fight you like that. Guess these people spared no expense when they outfitted their bathroom. What? Don't you dare. See what my car tried to just do? Tried to close its own hood. Trunk. That's the trunk, right? I've been doing that a lot lately. Anywho. Wow. This trunk smells like a dusty old garage. Is that our thumbnail? I don't know. I did a U-turn so I could park on a hill on a main road. And grab this little bundle of BX. Should we take that straggler too? Yes, we'll take it. I also got this thing, which I didn't record because the lady was out there, and two vacuum cords that I didn't record. I don't know, just because it was like a weird setup. Yeah, we went trash picking and didn't record half the stuff. That's a great way to make a video. All right, here's a cord we can cut. And box of knickknacks. That's how you spell that, too. Hmm. Where are the knickknacks at? Those knickknacks got patty whacked. They didn't even leave us a bone. Wow, this is so boring. You know what would liven it up a little bit, though? Some ice cold suds. What do you say? Want a couple of cans of Bud? It expired a couple months ago. You got seltzer sour. You got Bud Light lemonade. Whatever the hell that crap is. Yeah, we could have like a... Uh, a real party. Let's get our thumbnail going or something. Hashtag not sponsored by Budweiser. No offense to Budweiser, I'm sure they make fine beer. All right, today has been a bust, and I therefore give up. I only saw one other picker today, too, and his truck appeared to be empty. I did see about a dozen air conditioners, but I'm not really taking those right now. Probably should have. I don't think we need that. 
Anyway, that's how it goes sometimes, especially if it's super hot outside. Which it is tonight. But we found some stuff. Enough to make our gas money back, I guess. Plus the three bucks I spent on ice. And so, that concludes another one of these perhaps not so epic trash picking adventures. And as usual, appreciate you guys coming along and listening to me talk to myself. Yeah, the load hasn't changed much since that first pile hours ago. So until next time, which hopefully will be better, and which will be tomorrow, thanks for watching. Bonus nighttime clip. Look at all these ants on this pedal car. Look at them go. Where are they going? What are they doing? Okay, I guess that's the end of the video.